friends welcome once again myself mani joshi i welcome all of you on my chemistry channel chemistry of life in the previous video we have discussed about the bond of factor and abnormal molar mass now the question is that what is the importance of this bond of factor so in today's video we will discuss about the application of font of factor and the most important application of font of factor that is to determine the extent of dissociation or association for a electrolytic solution font of factor and extent of dissociation or association for an electrolytic solution meaning is that how the font of factor and extent of dissociation or association means how much part of a electrolytic solution dissociate or associate for an electrolytic solution meaning of electrolytic solution is that that solution in which we dissolve an electrolyte it may be strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte so again extent of dissociation means the degree of dissociation how much portion of the given electrolyte has been dissociate or associate that can be determined with the help of font of factor so in this video we will discuss about font of factor and extent of dissociation or association for an electrolytic solution this term extent of dissociation or association generally denoted by alpha the symbol of this extent of dissociation extent of dissociation or association denoted by the symbol alpha which we have discussed in the previous classes alpha is the degree of association or dissociation so with the help of font of factor we can determine the degree of dissociation or association now the first case which we deal in this topic with dissociation so in the first case we are going to discuss about the extent of dissociation after that we will discuss about extent of association extent of dissociation to understand the extent of dissociation suppose we have an electrolyte that is ab in the solution it going to dissociate into a plus and b minus initially the number of moles of ab is 1 at the initial time we know very well there will no formation of product so the number of moles of a plus and b minus will be zero there after some time some of the part will be dissociate of a b into a plus and b minus suppose that is alpha so we can write here after some times it will be here one minus alpha this is alpha and this is alpha we know that whatever electrolyte we are going to use that will have some specific value of concentration suppose the specific value of concentration is c so at final stage the concentration of ab will remain c1 minus alpha and it will be here and alpha and it will also and alpha what is the logic to write here and here n is the number of portion of ab which is converted into a plus and b minus simply we can say n is the number of moles of a plus or n also the number of moles of b minus maybe both are equal because the chemical formula of electrolyte shows that 
it should have equal number of a plus and b minus. So we have introduced here n, and this is also n. So we know very well if we write here point of factor i in the terms of particles that will be here. The formula here is number of sorry total number of particles after deassociation upon total number of particles particles means balls before deassociation before deassociation so to calculate the total number of particles after deassociation we can write total number of particles after deassociation will be here this is 1 minus alpha this is the remaining part of a b and alpha this is the part of products so we can write here 1 minus alpha plus n alpha that is the total number of particles after deassociation so when we further move ahead 1 minus alpha plus n minus alpha can be rearranged in this manner 1 plus n alpha minus alpha so 1 plus alpha is common there and it will be here n minus 1 so these are, are the total number of particles after the association the next thing which we need that is total number of particles before the association before the association the total number of particles is there 1 so we can write here i is equal to 1 plus alpha into n minus 1 upon 1 here so we can write here i is equal to 1 plus alpha into n minus alpha our target is to determine the value of alpha so again we are in this equation it will be here i minus 1 is equal to alpha n minus 1 so alpha is equal to i minus 1 upon n minus 1 this is the degree of deassociation with the help of one of factor in this formula alpha is the degree of deassociation i quantum factor and the number of moles or particles before deassociation so in this manner with the help of font of factor we can find out extent of deassociation which is known as alpha so this is the first part of this topic how can we determine the extent of deassociation for electrolytic solution i hope you will understand now in the second part we have to determine the extent of association Now, the second is extent of association. In the second part, we have to determine the degree of association. To understand the concept of extent of association, again, we will follow the same process. Suppose the number of moles of AB is n, means n molecules or n moles of AB combine and convert into a single molecule like that a b n 
So initially suppose we have one moles of AB then in the beginning that will be zero there. After some time alpha parts of this AB coagulate and convert into a single molecule because the alpha particles from N coagulating, aggregating so the number of particles will be formed of at the product side will be always alpha upon N again understand here we have taken alpha because the sum of the part of AB will be moved from this AB and convert into a aggregate molecules collective molecules coagulate so if the initial number of balls of AB is 1 so at the product side the number of aggregated molecule will be the fraction of 1 so we have taken here alpha 1 and same thing here I is equal to total number of moles or particles after association after association upon total number of moles before association this is the formula to calculate I for this formula we need total number of moles after association so to calculate total number of moles after association will be 1 minus alpha plus alpha upon n rearrange this equation it is 1 plus alpha upon n minus alpha again rearrange it 1 plus alpha will be common there alpha into 1 upon n minus 1 put the value of total number of moles after association before association in this formula of quantum factor so we can write here 1 plus alpha into 1 upon n minus 1 upon 1 will be there so it will be here i is equal to 1 plus alpha into 1 upon n minus 1 rearrange this equation so i minus 1 is equal to alpha into 1 upon n minus 1 so alpha is equal to i minus 1 upon 1 upon n minus 1 this is the degree of association or extent of association again i here is one of factor and n is the total number of moles before association so with the help of quantum factor we can determine the extent of the association as well association the formula is different for both the cases but for the understanding we can compile this two formula but we have to follow the original formula to calculate extent of the association or association i hope you will be understand some of the NCRT exercise based on this topic quantum of factor and extent of the association because in this chapter the numericals are in majority and in the board examination at least 5 marks numericals generally have asked from this topic this entire topic solution so all the numericals of this chapter are very important so in today's lecture we will discuss the numericals which based on quantum factor and extent of deassociation or association.
just try to understand. Now, the first question that is NCRT exercise question number 32. And the question is that I am writing on the board calculate the depression in depression in the freezing point. exercise question is based on this problem water factor and extent of dissociation or association now look at here this main thing to understand the numerical that is what has been given and what has been asked calculate the depression in the freezing point of water when 10 gram of alpha chlorobutanoic acid the common name of this is alpha chlorobutanoic acid First, why is butanoid? Because it contains four carbon: one, two, three, and four. In the common system, the alpha beta carbon used for the naming of carboxylic acid, aldehyde, ketone, like that. This is the function group. Its adjacent carbon, either the left hand side or right hand side, is known as alpha carbon. So this alpha carbon contains chlorine atom here. So this is alpha chlorobutanoid. Okay. Acid in common system is added to 20 gram of water. We have to calculate depression in the freezing point. It means that TF we have to calculate. Then now, how this question can be related with the water factor sir? This is the main question. Where we should apply water factor concept or where we should not apply water factor concept? The given there is Ka, very important base terms. When in the question Ka, the meaning of Ka is de association constant of acid, generally for weak acid. In the same term, Kb is also in the some of the cases, Kb, de association constant of bases has been given. It means that question belongs to want of factor definitely and sometimes alpha also. So, if the value of alpha has been given or Ka has been given, or the value of alpha has been asked or the value of k has been asked in all these such situations we have to follow the want of factor concept with the qualitative properties so we have to calculate the depression in the freezing point of water it means solution first we have to write here given what has been given 10 gram of alpha chlorobutanic acid so 10 gram. This alpha chlorobutanic acid is added to 20 gram of water. We have, can clearly observe that the amount of water is more as compared to alpha chlorobutanic acid. First thing. Second thing, dear friends. Generally, everywhere, 
when water is mentioned it means that will work as a solvent always either its amount is less than the solute still the water will work as a solvent as a solvent there so water is solvent here we can observe that because the amount of water is more in this question so the given 10 gram it means this is the weight of the solute and the second thing which has been given that is weight of solvent which is water there that is 20 grams and other things has been given that is Ka that is equal to 1.4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 Kf that has been given 1.86 Kelvin kilogram per mole. One more thing, dear students. Sometimes the unit of Kf. What is Kf here? Kf is the depression freezing point constant or cryoscopic constant. Unit has been general. May be asked. Write the unit of Kf or cryoscopic constant. Sure. That thing you should. Keep in your mind the unit is Kelvin kilogram per mole. Then what we have find out that is del Kf. We have to calculate because in this question K has been involved. It means the formula of del Kf which we have to use we should involve one tau factor. So if we involve the one tau factor in the colligative property we know very well. The formula is I into Kf into molality. By using this formula, we can calculate delta F for this problem. For this problem, we need I, Kf has been given, and molality we also need. So, first thing to calculate I. I here, how can we know that this is association or deassociation? Okay. This compound is an acid, and you know very well, acid generally in the water release H plus ion. So, if a solute release ions that cannot be associated, that will always proceed to the deassociation. So, for the deassociation, we have the value of alpha in this manner i minus 1 upon n minus 1. So, if we have the value of alpha, then we can calculate i also. But we do not have the value of alpha. But to calculate the alpha, one hint has been given that is Ka. In the previous class, we have studied Ostwald dilution law. And there we have find out K is equal to C alpha square. And to calculate alpha, the formula will becomes Ka upon C. Ka, the association constant which has been given. C that is concentration. Concentration means again we need here molality. So first we will calculate molality. And for the molality, the formula is number of moles of solute in the 1 kilogram solvent and upon W in kilogram but the number of moles of solute has not been given in this question if number of moles is not given the other alternate here is if the mass has been given we can find out the number of moles of solute so the molality formula will become here Wb upon Mb into 1000 upon Wa which we have discussed in the introductory part of solution Wb weight of solute Mb molar mass of solute Wa is the weight of solvent two things has been given Wb that is weight of solute Wa weight of solvent, weight of solvent that is 20 grams. So M is equal to Wb upon Mb in 2000 upon Wa. M. 
for m we require only molar mass of soil so we have to calculate molar mass of solute and the solute here is CH3, CH2, CH, Cl, C level 4, H. Look at here again. Total number of carbon 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 carbon contribution here will be 12 into 4 plus hydrogen contribution 3 plus 2 5, 5 plus 1 6, 6 plus 1 7. So 1 into 7 grams plus the next element that is chlorine. The atomic mass of chlorine that is 35.5 plus oxygen, 2 oxygen. So 2 into 16. So it will be here 12 into 4 that is 48 plus 7 plus 35.5 plus 2 into 16 that is 32. So 8 plus 7 15, 15 plus 5 20 and 22. So it is 2, 2 carries 6 plus 3 9, 9 plus 3 12. So it will comes 122.5 grams per mole. By putting the value of the molar mass of solute in the equation, we will get molality. By getting the molality, we will use this molality value in this equation of alpha, K upon C, calculate alpha. After getting alpha, we will calculate I. Now, what will the formula of proof? Alpha, I'm sorry, I in this case. Here, I is equal to, sorry, I minus 1 is equal to alpha into n minus 1. So, I is equal to 1 plus alpha n minus 1. N is the number of moles of solute before deassociation. That is equal to here. And number of moles WP upon MB. That will be used here. So, use right here the value of N. Alpha, we will find out from this equation. Put in this and get I value. After getting I, again, list here, del Tf is equals to I into Kf, which has given, and the molality, again, with this formula, we have calculated the molality that will be used here. So, in this manner, we can solve the problem number 32. In the same way, some other problem is also based on the want of factor and extent of ionization, oh sorry, extent of deassociation or association. The second problem which based on this concept that is question number 30. And the equation is that here 19.5 gram of fluoroacetic acid is dissolved, dissolved in 500 gram of water. The depression at the freezing point, the depression in freezing point point observed is one degree Celsius. Calculate one of factor. Calculate one of factor. One of factor. 
एंड डी एसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट एंड डी एसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ फ्लोरो एसिटिक एसिड ऑफ फ्लोरो एसिटिक एसिड KF for water has been given that is 1.86 kilo kelvin sorry kelvin kilograms per mole this is another problem which is based on this quant of factor and extent of ionization means de association or association now solution First, we will write the given 19.5 gram of fluoroacetic acid is dissolved in 500 gram of water. By the equation language, it is clear that the amount of water is more than the given fluoroacetic acid. So here, fluoroacetic acid will work as a solute. So weight of solute here that is 19.5 gram. The weight of water that sorry water means solvent weight of solvent that is 500 gram the depression in freezing point observed means delta f observed that is 1.0 degree celsius important thing observed word indicate that that colligative property has been measured practically so this is observed this is 1.0 degree celsius one more thing dear students that this is the difference and this difference sometimes expressed in the degree celsius but in the formula the kf is dealing with the kelvin never change this degree celsius into kelvin by adding 273 because this is the difference so whatever is the difference of degree celsius that will be the same for the kelvin also so we can write directly here this is 1 kelvin this is important thing okay then what we have to find out calculate bond of factor so the first we have to find out bond of factor second we have to calculate de association constant again K A is equals to K. We have to calculate. So this is the our problem. Now to calculate the K A, we know very well the formula for K is C alpha square. It means we need alpha. And to calculate alpha in the D association again. How can you say this of that? Here we have to use de association because this is indicating fluoro ethanoic acid and acid dissolved in water again. So always acid gives H plus ion in the water and formed formed ions. So it is clear that this is de association process. And one more thing also by observing this formula, you can also Understand why should we apply de association concept of bond of factor here? So in the case of de association alpha, the formula is I minus one upon n minus one. So to calculate the alpha, we need I also, and I can be calculated in the terms of molar mass. Colligative properties and total number of particles. Here one hint has been given. Which formula we have to apply here? You can observe that the depression or in freezing point observed has been given. It means I we have to use in the terms of colligative properties. 
and that we have already explained that in the terms of qualitative properties the formula of i will be abnormal qualitative properties upon normal qualitative properties so i is equal to observed del df upon normal del df observed del df we have the value but we do not have normal del df for the calculation of normal del df the formula is kf into molality so the next challenge is to calculate molality again molality is a term of number of moles will be the formula n upon w in kilogram but the number of moles of solute has not been given here so we have to calculate number of moles by using the weight of solute so the formula becomes like this n is equal to wb upon mb in 2000 upon wa in grams you know very well when we use 1000 in the molarity molarity formula all the terms comes in grams wb that has been given 19.5 wa that is also given weight of solvent that is 500 grams but mb has not been given so for the calculation of mb the clear is from the formula ch2 f c w h carbon to the air, so it will be here 2 into 12 plus hydrogen 3 there 1 into 3 fluorine the atomic mass of fluorine is 19 so it is 19 plus two oxygen atoms so it will be here 24 plus 3 plus 19 plus 32 so it will be here 7 9 16 plus 2 18 21 3 1 4 plus 3 that is 78 grams so the molar mass of fluoroacetic acid that is 78 grams problem has been solved by using the value of wb that is 19.5 mb 78 grams wa that is 500 grams we can calculate molarity after getting the molarity put this molarity value here calculate del df normal you can mention here del df normal after the getting of the value of del df normal use this equation i is equals to observed del df upon normal del df observed del df that is 1 kelvin in the same way you will find out any value of del df put here calculate i after getting the value of i use this equation for alpha alpha is equal to i minus 1 upon n minus 1 how can you determine the value of n look at here this is n given mass upon molar mass this is the n value never use one here because one minus one is equal to zero that will give an infinite value so that is not correct to find out the value of n n is the number of moles of solute wb upon mb put here calculate alpha after getting alpha task b has been easier k is equal to c alpha square again c c is the concentration here the concentration we are using in the terms of molarity so put the value of molarity here alpha and calculate k this is the solution of exercise 33 i am hoping that you will be understand now one more problem which based on this one of factor and extent of dissociation and association the next problem is based on this concept that is exercise number 40 and the exercise here is determine the amount of determine the amount of calcium chloride cacl2 for which i is 
2.47 dissolving dissolved in 2.5 liter of 5 liter of water water so that its osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is 0 0.75 atmosphere at 27 degree celsius again repeat determine the amount of calcium chloride for this one to factor is 2.47 dissolved in 2.5 liter of water so that its osmotic pressure is 0 0.75 atmospheric at 27 degrees celsius clear cut i has been given and the polygrady property which has been mentioned in this problem that is osmotic pressure so it is clear that we have to use the formula of osmotic pressure by using i dollar so first of all to solve this problem as usual we have to write whatever has been given given i that is known as water factor that is 2.47 dissolving 2.5 liter of water volume of solution volume of solution that is v generally known as that is 2.5 liter osmotic pressure the symbol of osmotic pressure that is pi that is 0.75 atmospheric temperature that is 27 degrees celsius very important dear friends this is not the difference of temperature this is a normal temperature expression so in the calculation of osmotic pressure or anywhere where only the temperature has been given you have to convert into Kelvin so to convert into Kelvin we know very well the formula is 273 is equals to 300 Kelvin what we have to find out the amount amount of calcium chloride and you know very well as for the language calcium chloride is going to be dissolved in water so that component which is going to dissolve in the another component that always work as a solute so here the calcium chloride is working as a solute so actually we have to determine the weight of solute and in all the qualitative properties we have mentioned that Wp or W2 is the weight of solute so this thing we have to determine ok then how can we determine the weight of solute with the help of osmotic pressure we know very well by using quantum factor pi is equal to I C R T this is the first original formula to calculate osmotic pressure I quantum factor C concentration because direct concentration is not given there so when the direct concentration is not given there the another formula of osmotic pressure will become like this number of moles per volume into RT again I has been given V has been V has been given in this problem R is a gas constant okay. T that is temperature which has been given but again the number of moles of solute has not given but the amount of solute has been asked it means we know that n is equal to given mass upon molar mass of solute so further this formula will be modified by this i into wb upon mb into rt upon v this is the final formula to calculate the amount of calcium chloride this we have to find out WB. So we can write here again WB is equal to pi into MB into V upon I into RT. 
some of the things has been given here pi has been given that is 0.75 atm mb molar mass of calcium chloride that has not been given we have to calculate for mb to calculate as usual process which we have learned in the previous classes sorry mb calcium chloride so calcium that is 40 grams per chlorine 35.5 so it will be here 40 plus 71 and it comes 111 grams per mole so mb will be there v volume that is given that is 2.5 liter one more important thing dear friends in the osmotic pressure volume must be expressed in the terms of liter if that has been given in milliliter you have to convert into liter because the value of gas constant we are going to express in, in the terms of liter also look at it now r for osmotic pressure must be 0.0821 liter atm per kelvin per mole you have to remember this value of gas constant to solve the problem related to the osmotic pressure. Never use that 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. Never. Because this has been expressed in the terms of ATM, atmospheric pressure. So use this value of gas constant where you have to going to interact with the osmotic pressure. Now all things have been clear for the WB, pi 0.75, MB 111, volume 2.5 liter, I that is given 2.47, R gas constant, this is here, and T temperature which we have already changed from degree Celsius to Kelvin that is 300 Kelvin, put the value and calculate the amount of WB. I hope you will be understand. Now, the last problem which has been mentioned in your NCRT book related to the osmotic pressure, sorry, want of factor and extent of association or deassociation. And that problem is problem number 41, NCRT exercise question 41. That is determine the Osmotic pressure Osmotic pressure of a solution prepared by dissolving
0.025 gram. In 2 liter of water, volume of solution that is V, that is 2 liter. Temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Again, convert into Kelvin 25 plus 273 that is equals to 298 Kelvin. Assuming that it is completely dissociated, it is clearly showing that it is a dissociation process and it is completely dissociated. Where we have the word dissociated or dissociation, it means that problem related to the one drop factor. And for the dissociation process, where you have to calculate the one drop factor, it is very easy. I is equal to again total number of moles or particles after dissociation upon total number of moles before dissociation and dear friends you know very well here the dissociation always proceeds for solute and here the solute is potassium sulfate so when the potassium sulfate dissociate is converted into potassium ion along with sulfate ion when we balance it there will be two moles of potassium ion one mole of sulfate ion so for the i here total number of moles after dissociation now the, this is again the question sir directly how can you use this relation this relation not molar mass not abnormal molar mass because it indicating it is completely dissociated okay? and no other things has been given there if the normal molar mass or abnormal molar mass has been given that we can use that also but that has not given it means first you have to start with this process if this is not sufficient then go for the molar mass concept if that is also not working then go for the colligative property ratio so first use this one total number of moles after dissociation 2 plus 1 that is 3 so we can write here 3 upon total number of moles before dissociation that is 1 so clearly the value of i here is 3 then we have to determine the osmotic pressure you know very well the formula of osmotic pressure pi is equals to i c r t this is the first formula again concentration has not been given change it pi is equals to number of moles upon volume into r t again the number of uh, moles has not been given again change this pi is equals to i into wb upon mb into rt upon v and to solve this last equation for calculation of osmotic pressure i we have value 3 wb given mass that is 0 0.025 grams mb molar mass the molar mass of K2SO4 will be here 2 into the atomic mass of potassium that is 39 plus sulfur 32 plus oxygen 4 into 16 it will be here 78 plus 32 plus 64 so 8 plus 2 10 plus 4 14 31 8 plus 3 11 plus 6 174 grams per mole. Mb is also there. R is constant. Already we have done that. This value is fixed for the osmotic pressure 0 0.0821 liter atm per Kelvin per mole. T temperature that should be expressed in the terms of Kelvin that we have find out 298 Kelvin for this problem. Volume that is 2 liter here. Put all these values in this equation and calculate osmotic pressure in the terms of ATM. So, these all problems 
were based on the want of factor and extent of deassociation and association thank you very much